against, is it? Yes, um, yes. Um, but she still holds the 5,000 and the 1,500 meters. So she is in the final list. I believe they've narrowed down to three. Four. And to, to four, okay, to four, yes, uh, because of uh, uh, Royas. Um, if w looking at this, Bernard, maybe I'm biased, but looking at this, I think Faith is a greater person. You know, to you should have this. started your sentence from there. Everything else you said was already <laughs> there before, and he had said it before. So you should She's, have said it from there. Uh, yeah. That faith stands a very good chance of taking yes. this one all together she does. because of the prowess. Mm. She's 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 done a lot um, all in one year. Remember, um, and there's no sign of her stopping. You know. I was looking at the other contenders. Let's look at the other contenders. Yeah. Uh, the Jesus. marathon record holder. Now that's because she took the marathon uh, quite unexpectedly as well. Eh? In Berlin. Uh, that's uh, Tigis Tasefa. Took it uh, quite unexpectedly just the other day. So that might not equate to me to uh, might not be put her at the same level with someone who has broken three records in one year <laughs> and in a span of about a month or two. Eh? Yes. Then look, let's look at Rogas. Eh? Ulimas uh, Rogas. That's a triple jump. Again, that's different. A different prowess to breaking three records. Mm -hmm. All right. Mm -hmm. Then let's look at the other one, Femke Ball. She's the 400 meters um, indoor champ and uh, hurdles champion as well. Yeah. You remember she fell several times there eh, in yes. Budapest. It wasn't very fair, but she she still got there all the same. Eh? And again, those are only two. And I'm thinking, um, uh, Faith has broken three, and even the span in which she has broken them. This uh, in uh, the local slang, people would say Imenda. Imenda. <laughs> But you know, Bernard, we, we, we have said he and then it returns, it comes back very quickly. But even if Ataka my agenda, this deserves to go. No, this, this deserves. Because those are three records. Yeah. Actually, let's look at the prowess on a serious note. Eh? Three records, within a, two within a month, and another one is more than what the others have done so far. The others have broken one record, uh, and the other one has only, you know, it's indoor champ and 400 meters hurdles champ. I mean, it doesn't equate to breaking three records. So in all fairness, it I, should I, be I going to face. Th they should come home. They should but come it might turn home. out, as, it might uh, sound as wishful thinking, which is also it, what it is. But let's hope for the best for uh, Faith Kibia. You know, you know, sometimes we, we used to reason that um, uh, the race that is more exciting, the race that is more watched, the race that, that is more attractive to sponsors is a short distance races because um, of the advertisement space and all that. But in this case, I think... Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Actually, we are, we are being unfair here. We are forgetting about Sherika Jackson. Oh, so She's Sherika also in Jackson it as well, the 200 meters. With her 200 well, meters, yes. And, and yeah. she, she is actually in contention as well. Yeah. Actually, the competition to me would be between Sherika and, and, and Faith. And Faith. Gone, yes. Yeah. Judging by what they have done in the Diamond League and also in uh, the World Championships. And mm. it's good that they were all in the same year. Yes. You know, and also the, the breaking of the records came in the same, mm. in, in the same time. This has probably been a great year for women in, in athletics. Absolutely, huh? yes. But yeah. you were mentioning uh, Kiptum as well. Yes, there's Kiptum uh, in, in the men's, in the men's um, uh, cycle because of his, uh, you know, he's won two marathons this year. One, of course, uh, was London and then second, he broke the world record in, uh, uh, in Chicago. So he's he's he's, right. he's, he's also he's a front right, runner. Right in there. Okay. Front runner. So you see, those are only two. And, and, and now, now look at three. look at his competition: a Paul Volta, uh, and, and and a javelin guy from India. Just depends on how many times they've broken the records yeah. and how many times they've also, you know, posted some good records. Anyway, we're just about to go to the break, but we couldn't go there without telling you about what's happening in world rugby. Now, the latest step that has been taken by world rugby is that they have forwarded about 200 messages from fans that were abusing the referees. You know, the referee who ref the final of the World Rugby Cup, that was uh, South Africa versus New Zealand, was tormented with texts and even his wife threatened the family was given death threats now they have gone further to take these texts and give them to the authorities in a very bold step to try and punish fans try and get the people who are behind you it. know I, I i only wish this had come much earlier maybe some bands would not have retired from from refereeing but when you know wh when i was reading that story and i saw his wife sent a message after the game that you know, thank no rugby. Yeah, and thank God, done. no rugby. So no, imagine no this was going on during the yes. game. But yes, let these people be punished. It happens in football all the time.
it's been going yeah. on for a lot of so time. Let, but let, that's let, what I'm let saying. It it's a bold step. It's a bold where step. Where the rugby officials are taking the text and taking them to the authorities to be able to deal with the fans. So yes. if you sent a tweet or you sent a text from Nairobi to France that time, you just know you're on the radar now. <laughs> Whatever you say to Burns, the referee, you're going to be in trouble. <laughs> this, this has happened before. And, 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 and then there's also... Uh, just a rivalry between South Africa and New Zealand, whether it's in cricket, whether it is in now uh, rugby, th there's that big rivalry this time around. But let's hope that something is done about it. They've also said that leaking criticism can have dire consequences for match officials in particular. So even if you're criticizing the officials, even in very, you know, uh, uh, close, close, circles. close circuits, don't leak it out. It jeopardizes the uh, lives of the referees. We'll take a break now, and I'm waiting for you to give me your predictions for Kenya versus Seychelles, a match that is going to be played this coming week in the World Cup qualifiers. When we are back, we'll be talking about the state of hockey in Kenya.